So just to start out, I'd like to thank everyone for joining. Uh, on behalf of myself and everyone at GeoSlam, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to attend uh, today's webinar. Uh, we're very excited to present this technology and its capabilities uh, in regard to scan to BIM workflows. Obviously, the topic for today's webinar is scan to BIM with GeoSlam. Scan to BIM is a very common application among GeoSlam users. Our technology makes the process fast and easy by eliminating a significant amount of field capture, post-processing time, as well as introducing automation and offering uh, software tools that help bridge the gap uh, when working with point clouds and third-party BIM and CAD software. Today's webinar is hosted by myself, Brian Rosensteel. I'm a senior solutions architect with GeoSlam for the Western United States and I'm based out of California. I personally have over a decade of experience with laser scanning, 3D modeling, BIM and CAD technology and workflows. And before joining the GeoSlam team over a year ago, I was an end user of GeoSlam as well as other LiDAR systems and primarily, primarily utilizing them for scan to BIM workflows. I do want to let you know that this webinar session is being recorded and that you will receive an email with a link to this recording after the webinar is finished. Also, due to the time difference, this presentation has been pre-recorded, so I will not be able to address questions at the end. Instead, you'll receive a follow-up email that you can reply to with any questions that may come up. Additionally, we have a team online right now who can answer questions live or help connect you with your local GeoSlam dealer. To speak with someone now, please use the chat pop-up in the bottom of the screen at geoslam.com. Here's the agenda for today's webinar. Uh, first, we'll talk about, a little bit about GeoSlam and do a brief intro and description of the company, talk about what we do and the technology that we offer. Then we'll dive a little bit more into scan to bim with GeoSlam and kind of give you an overview of GeoSlam scan to bim packages and its capabilities. Then we'll discuss how GeoSlam compares to other solutions regarding overall time to produce a point cloud level of development as well as level of accuracy. Next, we'll show three case studies, all highlighting different types of scan to BIM projects, all of which I've worked on personally. Lastly, we'll conclude with a summary and some key takeaways. So first, I'd like to give you a brief overview of who we are and what we do. GeoSlam is the smart way to map and understand spaces. We make it easy to capture and connect data from the world around us. From the built environment to the natural world, GeoSlam technology gives people the power to connect geospatial data from some of the most difficult environments. Whether you're capturing indoors, outdoors, or underground, GeoSlam systems can capture data virtually anywhere. Our core values are speed, Users can typically capture data about 10 times faster than with other uh, technology like static LiDAR or traditional surveying techniques. Simplicity. The systems require minimal training and are relatively easy to use, making our technology especially well suited for entry level users and advanced professionals alike. Business intelligence. Our systems provide you with the tools you need to map and understand the spaces or environment that you capture. And lastly, automation. Our workflows and process are intuitive, passive, and require minimal user input. I typically refer to our systems as plug and play technology for this reason. GeoSlam was founded in Nottingham in the UK, but we are now a global company with 10 regional offices, a network of 90 distributors throughout 59 countries worldwide. So no matter where you are in the world, GeoSlam has someone nearby who can help and support your mobile scanning technology needs. All right, so let's talk about scan to BIM. Scan to BIM is a common term used to describe capturing a space, usually with a LiDAR similar technology, and then turning that data into a 3D digital informational model, which can be used for things like designing, planning, monitoring, or managing a built environment as well as communicating and sharing information across all project stakeholders. GeoSlam scan to bid package offers a simple way of rapidly capturing essential information about a space, creating a point cloud and importing the data into a third-party BIM software package. 
We also offer a tool called GeoSlam Draw with a BIM module, which helps users align and prepare data for BIM and CAD applications, as well as create 2D ortho views, which can easily be used as an underlay to support scan to BIM workflows. GeoSlam and our team of industry experts understand the challenges that companies face when it comes to the adoption, implementation, and execution of scan to BIM workflows for the AEC industry. These are some of the ways that adopting GeoSlam technology can help overcome these challenges. Saving time is a primary concern for this type of work since traditionally the end-to-end -end process can be quite time consuming and require a lot of manual work. With GeoSlam technology, you can greatly decrease both your field capture and post-processing times. With our systems, you can capture data at the speed it takes you to walk the site. Also, post-processing and creation of the point cloud is quick and automated. As I mentioned earlier, the time that it takes to create a point cloud with a GeoSlam system is typically about 10 times faster than using a static laser scanner or a traditional surveying method. As a result of saving time, you will also save money. But additionally, GeoSlam systems are so easy to use that it makes internalizing data acquisition a much simpler undertaking. This will in turn save you a substantial amount of money compared to the cost of outsourcing this work. Most of our customers achieve a full return on investment with GeoSlam systems within the first year of ownership. There are also numerous benefits to creating and updating a digital twin of your space. This allows you to have endless information about your building at your fingertips. This information can then be used throughout the building's life cycle from initial construction to building maintenance, management, redesigns, tenant improvements, etc. One of the most noteworthy challenges that GeoSlam technology helps overcome is compatibility and interoperability with other platforms. All data from GeoSlam software can be easily exported to numerous universal file formats, which makes GeoSlam data easy to work with in any third-party software that accepts point cloud data. GeoSlam Draw also exports ortho images and vector data into DWG format, which can be used in most CAD and BIM software to supplement or in place of a point cloud. Additionally, our floor plans tool for Connect will export a scaled PNG, uh, which can also be used in almost any software for those who might not have access to a point cloud enabled software. So how does the scan to BIM workflow actually work? Here we break it down into five easy steps in a similar format to what you've already seen in the recent construction progress and floor plans webinars. First, we capture data. This is as simple as powering on the scanner, initializing a scan, and then you can walk freely and collect your data. When you're finished, you can quickly and easily transfer the data off the system as a .geoslam file. Next, we process the data. You drag and drop that file into our hub software where your data will be processed into a finished point cloud. This step is entirely automated and passive. So go grab a quick coffee and by the time you get back, your data will be finished stitching. Then you can view. Uh, using our hub viewer, uh, you can see your 3D point cloud and verify that everything has processed. And if you want, you can export straight out of hub into a universal file format and use it in any third party platform. Or you can bring your data into GeoSlam Draw for BIM. There you can prepare your point cloud, extract floor plans, sections, and use the full Revit plugin to do a side by side feature extraction into your Revit project. From GeoSlam Draw, the data can be exported to universal file formats and even some proprietary file formats like RCP for Autodesk or POD for Bentley systems. You can also export 2D ortho views and extract vector line work into DWG format. All the tools available in Draw are designed to help extract the information that you need and prepare your data for work in a third-party CAD or BIM software package. Here are some visuals to show what the outputs from Draw look like. 2D ortho views are essentially a flat 2D image of your data that are created from slices or sections of the point cloud. In Draw, the user has complete control over the output of these views. They are then written to DWG format, which can be brought into most CAD and BIM platforms to be used as an underlay to support modeling or drafting work. From these views, we can also automatically create vector line work, which is written up to DWG format. You can then use the manual vector tools in Draw to refine, clean up, and finalize your drawing. Or you can bring the auto extraction into a CAD platform 
to be finalized there. This tool can save a lot of time when it comes to generating 2D drawings, or these vector lines can be used in a BIM platform to be extruded into 3D elements. Also, for Revit users, Draw BIM offers a plugin that allows you to do side-by-side -side feature extraction in order to quickly model basic architectural elements like walls, doors, windows, columns, etc. This tool can save a lot of time and add accuracy to the scan to BIM process in Revit. GeoSlam is the smart way to map and understand spaces. We make it easy to capture and connect data from the world around us, from the built environment to the natural world. GeoSlam technology gives people the power to connect geospatial data from some of the most difficult environments, whether they're indoors, outdoors, underground, everywhere. We can then take that data and easily integrate it into third-party BIM platforms, including but not limited to the software listed on this slide. With the ability to export to universal formats, GeoSlam data can integrate with almost any software on the market that can utilize point cloud data. Automated scan to BIM feature extraction is also quickly becoming a boom market. GeoSlam data is able to be used in many of these software tools as well. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about how to utilize GeoSlam data and software in a specific third party platform or workflow. On this slide, we show a real world comparison of overall time to create a point cloud with a traditional tripod based static scanner versus a GeoSlam real time mobile scanner in a typical mid sized commercial office space. With a static scanner, you have to scan for a few minutes at a time from a fixed position and then move the system throughout the space, making sure you have enough overlapping data from one position to the next. To capture this space with a static scanner, it took 125 scans at an average of two and a half minutes each. Scan time does vary depending on the system and the settings that you use, but this is a fairly average scan time for this type of space. So at this pace, it took over five hours of capture time. Then you take that data into a registration tool, which on average takes a few minutes per scan to post-process, register, QC, and export. This process and time, again, vary depending on the software that you're using, uh, but again, this kind of reflects an industry average. So all in, you're looking at just over two days of work to produce a finalized point cloud with a global accuracy of plus or minus a centimeter and local accuracy of a couple millimeters. Again, that's an industry average. Now let's look at the same space captured with the GeoSlam real-time system. We captured the space in 30 minutes, and that includes prep time and teardown time. The data is stitched and processed on board the data logger in real time, so post-processing, registration, QC, and export time is really minimal. It only took about 30 minutes to produce the final point cloud. So the total time to capture this space with the GeoSlam system and produce a point cloud was only about an hour, which is about 18 times faster than with a static scanner. Now we do sacrifice a little bit of accuracy, but we still have a global accuracy of one to three centimeters and a local accuracy of uh, under a centimeter. This is a sped up video of the GeoSlam scan to BIM workflow for the data set shown on the last slide. With this workflow, we can quickly and easily extract and model elements like levels, walls, doors, windows, and other basic architectural features. Of course, we can also use the point cloud and or ortho images in Revit as an underlay and then use the native tools in Revit to model these or other architectural, structural, or MEP elements in a similar way. The scan to BIM package with GeoSlam gives the user the tools needed to do this work, but offers the flexibility to allow the user to decide the specific workflow and methods that they would like to use for their project. One important takeaway regarding overall accuracy when it comes to scan to BIM is the accuracy and detail of your model is largely dependent on the abilities and attention to detail of the modeler. Also, most scan to BIM projects are developed with design intent, which typically means that you're keeping walls straight along the X and Y axes and holding angles to five degree increments. In this case, you are typically sacrificing real world and local accuracy to some degree. And so having a point cloud with millimeter level accuracy becomes less crucial. This is why GeoSlam technology is such a good fit for scan to BIM because it's fast. And even though you're sacrificing just a little bit of accuracy in the point cloud data, 
the model that you're able to create with the GeoSlam point cloud versus a point cloud from a static scanner should be fairly similar in overall accuracy and detail. This is a perfect example. That point segues nicely into BIM, LOD, and LOA standards. These standards are widely used in the BIM industry and give you basic descriptions and metrics regarding overall level of development and accuracy of BIM deliverables. I won't go into the nitty gritty details of these standards, but if you're not familiar with them, there are numerous resources online to help clarify. So on the LOD scale, the GeoSlam systems can easily be used up to LOD 300. Past that, you'll probably want to consider using or supplementing a static LiDAR system or other survey technology into your workflow. Similarly, on the LOA scale, GeoSlam systems can be used up to LOA 30. This defines a local level of accuracy between 15 and 5 millimeters. If your work requires a local accuracy of 5 millimeters or less, again, you may want to consider using or supplementing a static LiDAR system or other survey technology. But based on my experience, somewhere between 60 and 80 percent of all scan to BIM work that's taking place fits within the capabilities of GeoSlam's technology. And as we've seen today, these systems can capture data in a fraction of the time. Here we have an example of where GeoSlam has been used for the scan to bim process. This example is a large family home on the outskirts of Prague in the Czech Republic, with the overall goal of creating a 3D model in Revit to assist in the redesign of the property. Data collection for the scan was done with the Zeb Go and was used over three stories within eight minutes of total capture time. The data was processed in GeoSlam Hub and Draw BIM. The data is uploaded into Hub on site to create the 3D point cloud, and then the point cloud is open and draw BIM and the line so that walls are squared up. The data is then exported into Autodesk's RCP format and is ready to be loaded into Revit. That RCP file is inserted into a new Revit project, and then levels and other views are created using the point cloud for reference. Then walls, doors, windows, roof, and other key architectural and structural components were modeled using primarily native Revit tools. The finished model is to a standard of LOD 300. The total scan to BIM time for this project was about eight hours. Here we have another example of where GeoSlam was used for scan to BIM, focusing on MEP for a large pump room. For this scan, we captured data with Zeb Horizon and it was collected all in about 10 minutes. Data was then processed in GeoSlam Hub and Draw BIM and modeled in Revit. The model was to a standard of LOD 200, and all pipes with a diameter larger than one inch were included, also primarily using native MEP modeling tools. The total scan to BIM time for this project was about 10 hours. Here we have our final example of where GeoSlam has been used for scan to BIM. This is a mid-sized hotel located in Southern California that I scanned personally for a customer demo. The hotel was three floors with 36 suites. The total scope of the project also included the building exterior and a parking garage below the building. First, the data was captured using both Zeb Horizon for the exterior as well as Rebo RT for the interior. A total of five separate captures were taken, all of which were between 15 and 25 minutes. Then the data was processed in GeoSlam Hub, where the merge tool was used to combine these five captures. Those mer merged captures were then brought into DrawBIM to be prepared and exported to RCP format. Then uh, the building was modeled to an LOD standard of 300, including architecture, structural, casework, furniture, and other elements. We use a combination of Draw's uh, BIM for Revit plugin, as well as native Revit tools to create this model. The total scan to BIM time for this project was about four days. Also, uh, it should be noted that this model and point cloud are available to download on our scan to BIM page at geoslam.com. Here we have a couple of pull quotes from three prominent end users of GeoSlam's scan to BIM package. 
I'll let you read them yourself, but here are the key takeaways. Ease of use, accuracy, speed, and overall interoperability with third-party platforms. Also, here's an example of a payment plan for scan to bim uh, listed in euros with the Zebgo and Revo RT scanner. But please visit geoslam.com slash payment plan to register your interests and get a quote in your local currency. So just to recap, why should you and your company choose Geoslam technology and software to enhance your scan to bim workflows? First, our ZEB scanners use the world's strongest SLAM. If you're not familiar, SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, and essentially it creates a digital map of any environment uh, you can walk in. It's tried and tested across many industries. Here's a small sample of the numerous customers that are using GeoSLAM technology today. Now to summarize, GeoSLAM systems are simple, easy to use and to capture data. You'll get the result in minutes, not hours or days. It's ideal for all users, but very well suited, especially for non-technical or entry-level users. And most importantly, you own and control the data throughout the whole process. This is not black box technology. If you want to try GeoSlam for yourself, our demo in a box program allows you to experience the power of GeoSlam in your own hands on your own timeline and from the comfort of your own home or office. To sign up, please complete the form on the web page shown here, or search Google for GeoSlam Demo in a Box, and we will send you everything you need to try out a Zeb scanner for yourself. Also, please do not forget to follow us on our various social media channels to see all of the latest news and updates from GeoSlam. And lastly, please join us next week for a panel discussion which focuses on practical insights for mobile mapping for 3D modeling workflows. In this webinar, I will be hosting a discussion panel composed of industry professionals who are using GeoSlam technology for scan to bim and CAD and other related work. Our featured panelists will be from Keystone Precision Instruments, Point Known, and Precision Property Measurements, also known as PPM. We look forward to seeing you all next week. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, and I hope you've enjoyed this webinar. As I said it at the beginning, the session has been pre-recorded, so you'll receive a follow-up email that you can reply to with any questions that you might have. We also have a team online now at geoslam.com who can answer questions or help connect you with the nearest Geoslam dealer. If you want to talk with someone now, please use the chat pop-up in the bottom of the screen at geoslam.com. Thanks again for joining us for today's webinar, and we hope to hear from you soon.